Hi guys, this is Stephanie Hahn for the NAR YPN Lounge. My topic today is Google Docs for Realtors. You probably already know that Google Docs is a great free alternative to Microsoft Office. Today I want to share with you a few other reasons why you might want to use Google Docs. Three ways that you can utilize Google Docs beyond the basics. The first one is cloud storage. Store PDFs, photos, documents, all sorts of stuff in the Google Cloud and then access it from anywhere. Number two, share your files and collections. You can share one file or a whole folder, or collections as Google Docs calls them, with other people or multiple people. And number three, you can collaborate live with clients and other agents in the transaction right within your documents. It's pretty neat. So, cloud storage. You can upload all sorts of documents to the Google Cloud. Microsoft Office documents like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they can all be uploaded and edited and then, if you wish, shared out on Google Docs. Additionally, you can upload PDFs, photos, and videos and share those out. Store your essential Office forms and brochures on Google Docs for everyone in the office to access anywhere. This is actually, you're looking right into my Google Docs here, and where that red arrow is under My Collections, it says Collections Shared With Me. And what we do is we put our listing packet and our sales packet uh, all in Google Docs so our agents can access them from anywhere. Second thing, sharing files and collections. Google Docs was made to share. You can share files and collections, and remember, collections are just folders, with your partner, your broker, your clients, really everyone involved in the transaction. And I gave you just a little snippet there, the first one on the left where it says PAYPN call, that's just one single file that was shared. And you can tell it's shared because it will always say shared after the specific file, and you can share with one person or a number of people. Additionally, over on collections, any of my collections, all those collections that are color-coded there, if you look at the one that says Tech Days, there's a little silhouetted head in there, that's because that particular collection is shared. And then if I went into that collection, each document would say shared after it. How do you do it? Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is click Create, and then click on a document to just create a new document. Then inside the document, you want to click on the blue share button. It is top right of any document. And this would work on a document you uploaded as well. Once you click share, all you have to do in the add people box is just type the person's email address that you want to add. And then you decide what permissions you want that person to have. Are they going to be able to edit, just view the document? how much access you're going to give them, basically. And then once you're ready, you just click Done. Now, live collaboration is sort of the next piece of sharing, and it's really one of my favorite things. When I share a document via, via an email address, that person can jump into the document and edit if I've given them that permission along with me. So, I had a little document here that I started with a friend, and you can see at the top in that blue box there, it says I have one other viewer. My viewer, and it color codes every person, so this particular viewer happens to be pink. But what it does um, is it'll tell me I have one other viewer when I'm in my document, and we can go and we can talk right within the document. This is so handy. Really great for sharing MLS descriptions with your seller when you need to get their edits or their approval, formulating a reply to inspections with issues and what your buyer wants, keeping track of leads on your team. I think the list here is endless. Now, I already told you that Google Docs will tell you when you have someone that you've shared with viewing the document. And what you can do, if you don't want to collaborate right inside of the document that you're working on, you can actually just chat off to the side. Google will tell you when the person is viewing it, when they've opened it, and when they leave. Now, just to review, the three ways that you can utilize Google Docs to go beyond the basics of just creating documents, cloud storage, photos, PDFs, and documents, sharing your files and your collections, which are just your folders, and then collaborating live with clients and other agents in the transaction. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested, you can try Google Docs right now. You go to docs 
www.google.com forward slash demo, and you'll be able to play around. Thanks a lot, guys.